23rd June 2023 Morning Murli Am Shanti Baptada Madhupan Sweet children, the support of life for all of you has come to liberate you from suffering the sorrow caused by the demons of death. He gives you your inheritance of heaven. He is not omnipresent. Question. Which yoga is always combined with this Raj Yoga? Answer. Praja Yoga means the subject yoga is always combined with this Raj Yoga because together with the king and queen, subjects are also needed. If all became kings, over whom would they rule? All of you say that you will become emperors and empresses and that you have come here to study Raj Yoga. However, a lot of courage is needed to become kings and queens. You need to have full power. Only when you surrender yourselves totally to the Father can you go into a kingdom. Song O oh, beloved, come and meet me. My unhappy heart is calling you. Om Shanti, who is calling out to the beloved. The lovers are called brides, devotees. They call out to the bridegroom, to God or to the Father. The idea of omnipresence doesn't hold any weight in this. You call out to the beloved, come and meet me. Embodied souls call out to the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. O Supreme Father, Supreme Soul, come. Have mercy. You would not call out to him in this way in heaven. Truly, this is the land of sorrow. And so, you call out to the beloved. The beloved, God is only one. The Creator is only one. The world, that is the world cycle, is also only one. You children know that from the Iron Age, it will once again become the Golden Age. In the Golden Age, there will once again be the kingdom of the original eternal deities. This is knowledge. You children know how the beloved has come. Shiv is incorporeal. All of you are incorporeal souls. You have come here to play your parts. How did the incorporeal father come? Who taught you Raj Yoga? Sri Krishna cannot teach it. He is not the one who establishes the golden age. The beloved of all living beings, it is said to be the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, the incorporeal creator. He says, you celebrate my birth at Shiv Jayanti. I do not take birth in the same way at Sri Krishna. Some children have been granted visions of how Shri Krishna takes birth from his mother's womb. The father says, I also have the name Rudra. It says in Gita, this is the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra. That is, it is the sacrificial fire created by Shiv. Therefore, incorporeal Shiv surely has to come here in a corporeal form. The father sits here and explains, with just two words of the song. The idea of omnipresence is thrown out. Shri Krishna is not called the beloved. You see, O oh God the Father, O oh support of life, because he is the support of everyone's life. He liberates everyone from suffering the sorrow caused by the demons of death. Therefore, he definitely has to come. The Father says, I come at the confluence age of every cycle. This is the beneficial confluence age. After the golden age, there is a reduction of two degrees. This confluence age is the age of ascent. You have to use your intellects for everything in this. It is explained very easily for new ones. Your father is the incorporeal supreme father, the supreme soul shift. Remember him. That's all. All the mantras of other gurus, saints, etc. belong to the path of devotion. Devotion lasts for half a cycle and then the inheritance of knowledge continues for half a cycle. Knowledge will not remain there. 
you are given this knowledge to take you from the degradation into salvation. It is the work of a guru to grant liberation and salvation to his disciples or followers. However, they don't know what liberation or salvation is. They even sing the best word of salvation for all as Ram. The purifier is the Ram of all Sitas. Ye children know that there is just the one religion in the golden age. The Sandinized the kingdom continues there. Then there is the kingdom of Ram in the silver age where there are two degrees less. Raven etc. does not exist there. There is no question of calamities there. This whole world is Lanka, the kingdom of Ravan. At this time, all human beings are worse than monkeys because all of them have the five vices in them. Human beings have so much anger in them. Look how they kill one another. They make preparations to kill or be killed. All of you were vicious. Bow has now come and is enabling you to conquer Ravan. Look what they have written in the scriptures. It wasn't that Hanuman's tail caught fire and that the whole of Lanka was burned. In fact, this whole world is Lanka. Your children, the decoration of the Brahmin clan, were previously impure. You are now conquering Maya, Ravan. The father has come and has opened the locks on your intellect. The father is the intellect of the wise. Look what human beings relate and how they spoil your heads through that. The father says this will also happen again. In the beginning, there was no notion of omnipresence. You used to say God is infinite. It is such a big mistake to say that he is infinite and then call him omnipresent. They say Shiva Ham Tattvattam. They sometimes say Shivo Hum and sometimes Brahma Hum. This then is wrong. Brahma is the place of residence. Shivava resides in the Brahma element and this is why it is called Brahmand. We souls are also residents of that place. Those people say that Shiva is beyond name and form. All of these matters have to be explained. In this too, it is only when they understand this regularly for a week that their dress can be colored with knowledge. You have to explain you also have the unlimited father from whom Bharat receives the inheritance of liberation in life. All the rest receive the inheritance of liberation. The father says, children, the play has now ended. Your 84 births have now ended. You have played your part for so long. And you now have to return home. The father comes and establishes the kingdom for us, and so it would shortly be established at the Kanklan's age. Only then could you claim your inheritance in the Golden Age. Baba is teaching you to perform such a good actions. What did Lakshmi and Narayan do that they became so elevated? You now know that Baba is teaching you Raj Yoga. Would he teach you this in the golden age? There it is the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan. This is the benevolent confluence age in which you have to make very good effort. The father says, renounce the consciousness of your bodies. Have the faith that each of you is a soul and remember me, your father. Having stumbled around, you have become tired. Only the Brahmins who are mouthbone creation of Brahma, became the seniors of the three aspects of time. It is the father who makes you thus. You are the ones who spin the discus of self-realization. Vishnu is not Trikaldarshi. They have given the ornaments to Vishnu. In fact, it is you Brahmins who became Trikaldarshi. The clans have also been explained to you. The Brahmin clan is the top knot. The people of Bharat make that picture, but they don't show a top knot. They have made the Brahman clan disappear. There is Prajapta Brahma. Therefore, first of all, there has to be the top knot of Brahmins. You have become 
Brahman Swadi Madhpun Creations. You also heard in the song, Oh, be loved, come and meet me. There is no question of omnipresence. Your lovers are now sitting in front of the beloved. The beloved is giving you your inheritance of heaven. He's such a good beloved. People say that Sri Krishna abducted someone to make her a queen. However, they don't understand what that means. You now know this and are making effort to become emperors and empresses in heaven. This is Raj Yoga and Praja Yoga is combined with this. There won't just be kings and queens. All of you say that you will become emperors and empresses and that you have come to study Raj Yoga. However, not everyone will become an emperor or empresses. Courage is needed. You need to have full power. On the path of devotion, only when they do intense devotion, do they have visions. They sacrifice themselves to shift. In fact, sacrificing yourselves also begins from here. You have also been told that the Gita, the Bhagavad, the Ramayana and the Vedas etc. do not exist in the golden and silver ages. It isn't that. They have continued from time immemorial. They have continued from the copper age. And they will be created again in the copper age. Muslims came and took the kingdom. Muhammad Ghaznavi came and looted everyone. You now know all of those things. We changed from being what they worship to worshippers and build our own temples. Therefore, we must have had so much wealth. It is a matter of 5000 years and that too it's from the beginning. You also have so much wealth on the path of devotion. Just imagine what the palaces of those who built temples studded with the jewels and diamonds would be like. The name is so elevated. You see, Lakshmi and Narayan decorated so beautifully. Now poor helpless people have no money. Previously, they used to make everything for Lakshmi and Narayan with diamonds. Later, everything was looted and taken away. There, there were golden bricks and you will build your palaces with them. You used to be very wise. Now you have become senseless and this is why you have become poverty stricken. They have made so many allegations against Sri Baba and the deities. This is why Baba says whenever there is extreme irreligiousness, I come. Only when I enter this one can I create Brahmins. When coming into Bharat, he created Brahmins through the mouth of Brahma. Would I go abroad? The one who was the foremost pure and worthy of worship, one has now become a worshipper. I entered this impure body. They say Trimurti, but they have removed the word Shiv. There is no meaning in saying Trimurti Brahma. Baba says, I entered this body at the confluence age of every cycle and create you Brahmins. This is the most elevated age of your Brahmins. You are now in God's lap. You are claiming your unlimited inheritance from Baba, God. You know that you will attain Him by remembering Him. It is said, those who remember a woman at the end. The birth you receive will be according to what you remember at the end of your present birth. This is the time of the final moments. The Father sits here and explains to you, At this time you must only remember me, the Father. May you be soul conscious. May you be bodiless. Have the faith that your souls and remember me, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. You mustn't just sit down in one place to remember the Father. Children remember their Father while sitting, walking and moving around. The unlimited Father says, Remove your intellects from everyone else and constantly remember me alone. Thus requires effort. You have taken 84 births and this is now your final birth. You now belong to the Father and so he has given you such sweet names. Baba sent names through a trans messenger. The names there are very good. Nevertheless, you will be given the same names 
that you were given in the previous cycle. You also have to explain the meaning of omnipresence. If all devotees are God, then what would they receive? Nothing at all. You are now in God's lap. You become Brahmins by being in God's lap. The Shudra clan has now ended for you. This clan are for the people of Parth. You know that you were transferred from the Shudra clan and are now in the Brahman religion. Those who become Brahmins in the previous cycle will become that again. The tree continues to grow. Baba tells you children such good things. However, when storms of Maya come, even good children fall. There is a battle. You are the children of the Almighty Authority, and so Maya too is no less. For half a cycle, it is the kingdom of Ravan. At this time, Maya will make you fall with great force. That is called a storm. There is the example of Hanuman. No matter how many storms of Maya come, you mustn't shake. Remain constantly cheerful. The more powerful you became, the more forcefully Maya will attack you. She will see whether you are worthy or not. Some say, Baba, I have dirtied my face. As soon as you dirty your face, your intellect becomes low and you aren't able to end by because you have been defamed the Baba. A physical father also says you have defamed the name of the clan. Baba explains you must never become one who defames the name of the clan. The father has come from the supreme abode to teach you. God speaks, I have come to make you into kings of kings. The kingdom will definitely be established. However, many of you became Brahmins at this time. That many became Brahmins last time and you will continue to become Brahmins. Your children have to remember that the father from beyond doesn't have a father of his own. He is the supremely knowledgeful seed of the human world, the living being, the purifier, the merciful, knowledgeful and blissful one. No one gives bliss to him. He himself is the father, teacher and Satguru. You are personally sitting in front of the unlimited father in his home. This is God's family. It will continue to grow. You keep the cycle of 84 births in your intellects. We take this many births as deities. We take this many births as warriors. We will then become deities again. Maya creates the land of sorrow. The father comes and creates the land of happiness. It is so easy. You should make a lot of effort. The effort you make now will become your effort for cycle after cycle. You would say, we have been making effort like this every cycle. Mama and Baba also make effort. They will then become the worthy of worship deities, Lakshmi and Narayan. We become the most elevated of all by following Srimad. Acha, to the sweetest, be loved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bhattada, the spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says, Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna, first point. At this time, of the final moments, practice remembering the one father alone. Become bodiless. Second point, never become one who defends the name of the clan. Don't shake in the storms of Maya. Remain constantly cheerful. Blessing. May you be a yogi soul who gives visions of the power of your mind and the mirror of your face. Explanation. Whatever is on your mind is definitely revealed on your face. Do not think that you have a lot on your mind. The mirror of the power of your mind is your face. No matter how much you say that your yoga is very good or that you are constantly dancing in happiness. When people see your unhappy face, none of them would believe you. Let the shine of having attained everything be visible on your face. Let your face not be seen as dull 
but let your face be seen as happy. Only then will you be called a yogi soul. Slogan, when you have an easy nature, speak simple words and perform simple actions, you will be able to glorify the Father's name. Om Shanti